lovely booktubers it's nearly christmas i just want to before i get started show you my fantastic christmas jumper i can't see what is showing in the camera so hopefully you've got the magnificence of it on your screen <laughs> i wanted to do a book haul for december before christmas i'm hoping fingers crossed that i'll get some lovely lovely books on christmas so this way I'll, I've split it up because I have got quite a few books this month. So I didn't want it to ramble on forever so without further ado I will get cracking. First book is Christmas Days by Jeanette Winterson. I've seen this all over booktube, I've seen so many people talking about it so I figured I wanted something festive that I could read um, and I wanted to read a story a day so I've picked this up. I actually haven't managed to read a story a day because I've been reading a couple of other things in between and they've been so good that when it's come to bedtime when I want to read them I've actually just ended up reading them instead of this but the stories that I have read are really good and it's also got recipes in it um, I think I've just read that there's a recipe for a mince pie in there um, and it's just it's just a very very pretty book. The next one isn't a book, this was actually gifted to me by one of my friends who visited Las Vegas. He didn't tell me what it was that he'd bought me, just that he'd bought me something. And now I really really love The Princess Bride, it was one of my favourite films when I was a kid, once I was old enough to not be scared of the Shrieking Eels. And I've loved it ever since and I watch it and re-watch it, I've, I've got the book and I've got the illustrated version of the book as well. He actually brought me these back which are Princess Bride playing cards. So I'm just going to show you, see the Joker, it's Mel Smith, the number cards are just normal but then you can see the King of Clubs is an Eagle Montoya and it says prepare to die. They're just lovely, a really really thoughtful present, you can see that look, Princess Bride. Next one is another book that I've heard people mention on booktube, I think Mercedes mentioned this on one of her most recent videos and that was Revolutionary Road. I think it was in a, a Q&A that she was doing. Listening to her talk about this, it just sounded right up my street. So I'll read the blurb on the back just to give you an idea of, of what it's about. Hailed as a masterpiece from its first publication, Revolutionary Road is the story of Frank and April Wheeler, a bright young couple who are bored by the banalities of suburban life and long to be extraordinary. With heartbreaking compassion and clarity, Richard Yates shows how Frank and April's decision to change their lives for the better leads to betrayal and tragedy. And the next book in my pile is The Last Werewolf by Glenn Duncan. This is another one that was mentioned on booktube. I can't remember if it was Mercedes. I've watched quite a lot of booktube this week. But the sound of it, just, just instantly, I was straight on Amazon and got myself a second-hand copy. So the back of this says, For two centuries, Jacob Marlowe has wandered the world, enslaved by his lunatic appetites and tormented by the memory of his first and most monstrous crime. Now the last of his kind, he knows he can't go on. But as Jake counts down to his demise, a violent murder and an extraordinary meeting plunge him back into the desperate pursuit of life. Whoever it was that I heard talking about this uh, made it just sound really interesting the, the way it was written, so I thought I would give that a go. I'm all about the recommendations this week. The next one is Cosmic Engineers by Clifford D. C. Mack, I think it is. I've just finished reading Stephen King on writing and he actually recommends this uh, because he's... He explains a little bit in the book that how if you're a good writer you can write a book about everything. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you can write a book about anything and this is actually a book about plumbers aboard a spaceship. As soon as he mentioned that I managed to hunt down a copy. Upon you and you alone must rest the fate of the universe, you are the only one to save it. This was the outstanding statement of the mysterious beings known as the cosmic engineers. It resulted in the sending of a small group of human beings far beyond the edge of the solar system. There, in infinite space, the most terrifying challenge they could forever face awaited them. The terrible fury of the hellhounds of space, bent on destroying the universe. Bravely, the band from Earth journeyed beyond the uncharted stars to meet their destiny. A classic science fiction adventure from a master of the genre. Yes! I don't know if you saw one of my earlier videos, which was about the book swap I took part in on Facebook. I, I received another one the other day. I have no idea who it was from, like with any of the books. Uh, some of them might have come with a note, but they're not people that I'm friends with on Facebook. They're sort of, it's sort of linked like in a chain. I got The Island by Victoria Hislop. I don't know anything about this book. I've, I've never read it. On the brink of a life-changing decision, Alexis Fielding longs to find out about her mother's past, but Sophia has never spoken of it. 
All she admits to is growing up in a small Cretan village before moving to London. When Alexis decides to visit Crete, however, Sophia gives her daughter a letter to take to an old friend and promises that through her she will learn more. It doesn't really give much away apart from, I guess, I guess the beginning and a couple of people. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do a quick review once I've read that. The next two books I got as part of Mercedes from Mercy's Book is Musings Moth Box. So I, I've already spoken about these. Um, if you want to see that, I will link the video below. But I plan on reading these as soon as I've finished Wool, which I'm reading now. I feel like the right kind of book to bring in the new year. So I think I'm going to read Call of the Undertow first and then Trio after that. The next one is Rebecca by Daphne de Maria. This was actually a surprise gift from my partner. He'd seen that it was in my... I'd just left it in my Amazon basket to buy after Christmas. And he's actually bought it. Well, I think it was meant to be a Christmas present, but he can't keep secrets, so he just gave it me as soon as it had come. Uh, I saw Lauren from Lauren and the Books talking about this, and the way she described it just made it sound fantastic. And I know it's a book that I should probably already have read, so I will be reading that pretty soon. Next is Woman on the Edge of Time by Marge Piercy. I think I've spoken about her before uh, in a previous book haul because I got a book of hers from a car boot sale and also that one of my favourite books of all time is by her. It's called Body of Glass. The classic feminist science fiction novel reissued on its 40th anniversary with a new introduction by the author. After being unjustly committed to a mental institution, Connie Ramos is contacted by an envoy from the year 2137 who shows her a utopian future of sexual and racial equality and environmental harmony. But Connie also bears witness to another potential outcome, a dystopian society of grotesque, grotesque exploitation one will become our world and Connie herself may strike the decisive blow. This sounds right up my street. It's got feminism in it. It's got science fiction in it. I have no idea why it's passed me by. And I feel kind of like I need to read all of Marge Piercy's work now. Like I said, I really, really loved Body of Glass. It's one of my all time favourites. So this is exciting. Okay, we're in the home stretch. It's the last two books. The next one is Cold Heart Canyon by Clive Barker. I really like Clive Barker. I think I was first exposed to him when I watched Hellraiser when I was younger and I think I feel like that still stands up as an amazing and generally chilling film today. I read Hellbound Heart a long time ago which is what Hellraiser was based on and then I've not really read any of his other stuff until one of my friends gifted me my last birthday uh, The Great and Secret Show which is fantastic. It's, it's just a very well written epic creepy disturbing story so i picked up cold heart canyon and it says after a run of failed movies superstar todd pickett elects to have extensive surgery in a desperate bid to regain his lost beauty the procedure goes horribly grotesquely wrong hiding from his fans and from the press he knows will tear his reputation apart if they found out about his operation todd takes refuge in a place that no map of hollywood has ever described cold heart canyon here, nursing his wounds and his desperation, he discovers what the history of the dream factory has long concealed. A world somewhere between life and death, reality and illusion, where the great legends of a forgotten Hollywood are waiting to educate him in the bitter business of life after fame. Sounds dark and twisted and terrifying. Last one is Clive Barker, Everville. This one says, Welcome to Everville. On a mountain high above the city, a door stands open onto the shores of another world. And there's not a soul below who will not be changed by that fact. Phoebe Cobb is about to leave her old life as a doctor's receptionist and go looking for a lost lover in the dream seas of that world. Tesla Bombeck, who knows what horrors lurk on the other side of that door, must solve the mysteries of the city's past if she's to keep the horrors from crossing the threshold. And Harry Damore, who has tracked the ultimate evil across America, will find it conjuring atrocities in the sunlit sheets of Everville. So I think, I have a feeling that this is actually linked to the Great and Secret show. I should have done a quick Google really to check that, but I didn't. So that's my book haul this week. I hope you're interested in those books. What are you guys reading at the minute? Like I said before, I'm reading Wool. I'm really enjoying it so far. And after that, I'll be starting on my moth box reads. I hope you're all ready for Christmas. I hope you're all excited if you celebrate it. And I hope if not, I hope you enjoy a few relaxing days off work. If you like this video, please subscribe to me to see other videos. And big bookish hugs. Bye.